So Billy, a fantastic 2-1 win here tonight against Glossop North End. You must be delighted with that victory tonight. Uh, I think coming on the back of Saturday's win, obviously, I think, you know, another another 2-1 here. I think Saturday we probably looked like we are holding on a little bit. I thought tonight we got exactly what we deserved and, you know, to be fair, but for some good sort of play by themselves, we probably could have had another one. Um, I know they had a bit of possession and they put us under pressure in the second half but if you look at the stats, the stats suggest that they didn't actually have too many clear-cut chances. So I think we got out of the game what we deserved against you know, what, what we know is a very good side, uh, very good setup, management team, very, very experienced at this level of football. So um, yeah, it's, it's a nice one to take away on a Tuesday night. Yeah, Glossop were FA Vars finalists a couple of seasons mm -hmm. ago. They were one of the favourites to win this league this year. Um, is it a mini statement to the league that we've come and beat this team tonight? Um, I think the league. I was talking to Chris before the game, and I know very well from you know back home. We lived in the same area, um, played for the same town team. And so, and, and, and like he said, and I agree with him that I think the league's probably a bit wide open at the moment. I think Brighouse have made a couple of bold statements. I think they're doing really well again. Great manager in Quinn Ed knows what he's doing. Ash Getting well. to know the league, yeah, Ash is there now as well. Boovey's there, so they've got, they've got a good setup. I think looks like they've got a great balance this year. Um, great side, a good, great win for them again tonight. So I think that there's a statement from there. I think Lancaster have, have made a couple of again tonight. Yes. Yeah, I think they they might be a bit of a dark horse. Don't think Colwyn Bay will be a million miles away from it. Again tonight. Well, there, yeah. yeah. So I, think, I know he had a few players out. So. But I'm still thinking, you know, as Chris said to me, five or ten games, the league probably still won't have taken shape, whereas in the past it has done. So yeah. I think for us personally, you know, I've set the, the first target is 36 points, because I think that keeps us in the league. Mm. And then we'll go from there. Um, you know, we said we were going to come into the league, we are going to try and enjoy it, we are going to try and... It's a, it's a new venture for the club, it's a new venture for the fans, and, you know... The, the ones that have turned out here tonight, I hope we first of all that the money's worth, and, and secondly, been entertained in what was probably quite an open game of football. Yeah, we took the lead after about 28 seconds. Um, okay. Did you see it? Because I'm sure a lot of fans missed yeah, it. Yeah, no, I, 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 we were talking about it. We talked, that, you know, we've, I think we, we talked about doing our own work in this league, and you know, so we knew, we knew. I've, I've watched Glossop at Brighouse. Um, and we, we've had a couple of reports about them in terms of how they play. So we understood their game plan. We understood where they play and how high they play. And the keeper plays as a sweeper in behind the back four. And they look to get the ball into certain areas of the pitch as quickly as we can. So we sort of talked about that before the game. And we talked about sort of putting in behind very early on and seeing if we could get them playing on the back foot. And, you know, we just we did really well to turn over possession and then... The, the one ball through Josh did extremely well to break the offside trap and to be fair when he set off there was only ever going to be one winner uh, and then the finish was sublime it was class absolute first class from the lad yeah Josh carried on from where he mm. left off on Saturday really his fourth goal of the yeah. season it's fantastic to see him back in back in the goals once again yeah absolutely I think, you know he knows what he's required to do up there that's the job of the centre forwards in this league we can't there's no getting away from that we can't carry anyone uh, you know, the, the lads, if we play a two, the one, the three, whatever we play up there, their job's to score goals and to see him on the score sheet, especially after, you know, the knock to Tom who got off to a brilliant start. Um, you know, and, and, and Jimmy up there as well, his work rate was great and, and, and battled hard and tried to win his headers against, you know, what was a, a big back yep. four. Um, you know, so to, to see, to, to certainly go then go 2-0 up and the smaller player on the pitch score with an head Yeah, just a touch on that. <laughs> Incredible. Did you know he had that leap in his locker? Or? Yeah, well, I, I think it often happens that with the, with, with the smaller lads. Is they know they've got to work hard, they know they've got to get up high and, you know, it was a great leap and it, it was well deserved as well for Connor. And it's, again, he's another one. It's nice to see him getting on the score sheet. You know, and I always say it's good to see a lad scoring against the better teams in the league as well. And, you know, I think Glossop are one of them teams. Yeah, I think that just showed his hunger and desire. Um, mm. and he just sits on the first half, it could have been about three all at the break. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Second half, a bit more subdued. I think that what, we, what we're trying to educate the lads with is that, you know, at this level we've got to see out games, we've got to game manage them properly. Mm. Um, it's not about going out and trying to win every game 5-6-0, because that's never going to happen. Um, you know, once we've got our noses in front, once we've got the second, I thought their, their, their goal was a bit soft. I'm, I'm absolutely convinced it was a free kick. Mm. Um, He's put his hands in John O's back, and the middle, the middle, I'd give him his due if one angle's up, but both hands were in his back, mm. and the little nudge just took him away from it. 
Um, I know the referee might have been a little bit unsighted, but the, the mm. linesman's looking straight at it. Um, yeah. and the referee had a good view. I've seen his view. He had right. A good view. Okay. Looking well, it. you know, I mean, he, he said to me at half time he was unsure. Yeah. Um, so you can accept that, but there were two of them in really good positions to see it and get it right between them. So. You know, and what I've said there is that if the, the big decisions in games sometimes swing momentum, yeah. um, and momentum certainly swung their way then, and, and they were up for it again. Um, but second half, I think we we looked after the threat. We had one or two breaks ourselves. Rob Yule was superb down the right hand side. Um, you know, every time he got possession of the ball, it, it, there was there was glimpses of Rob's old self there. And, by the time he'd done it the third time, every time the ball went out to him, you could hear the anticipation around the ground that people got excited about it. And we've still not quite worked it out yet um, in terms of where we should be and where we shouldn't be and where he's going to deliver to. But the more they play together, the better they'll become at that. Yeah, how good were our two centre-halves tonight, Andy Mill and Greg Anderson, along with Jason Maiko, to name another one? Yeah, well, I think the two centre-halves with Michael behind them uh, are probably as good as anything in the league, um, you know, I think. Greg's experience is, is absolutely unbelievable for this level of football and Pop Milner, you know, he's come on leaps and bounds in terms of where he is and the tackle you know, at the end as well was just absolutely yeah, outstanding. I think it, well, probably the biggest part of his game for me that's changed so much is when he wins headers now, he wins them with distance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when he comes he's got a he's got a, a real positive attitude that he knows he's coming, he knows he's gonna win it and he tends to head it back. Rather than editing it 15 yards, he's yeah. starting to edit it 40 and 15, 60 yards now, and that's that's huge for us. Um, and I think they've they've formed a formidable partnership, especially with Michael in behind. Yeah, how um, big is it having him in goal again? Pulling off a number of good saves to well, yeah, keep us in I it. Mean, that, that's what his effort. You know, we, we know that. I think I've always gone. I've gone on record before and say it. You know, I thought Gary was exceptional for us at this level last year, probably back end of the season. And sometimes, you know there are certain areas of the pitch that if you get it right you've always got a great chance um, you know and we've got people who can head the ball and edit well so what that risk sort of restricts the opposition and if they're maybe getting one or two chances and Michael can hold his own on them one or two chances you know it, it, that's that's what they're there they're together for that they they form a formidable partnership there's a great little triangle there uh, and long may it continue uh, moving on to Saturday now, we travel to Bamber Bridge, who I think are uh, second or they were before tonight. Um, what are you expecting from that match? Should it be a tough game? Um, it's always a really difficult place to go. It's a fantastic setup. Really uh, fantastic stand. Yeah, yeah, really great place, great stand, great setup, great environment. Again, very experienced management team. Um, you know, they've got off to a decent start, and I think they'll be one of the teams because they've always been up there or there or thereabouts certainly in the last five years that I've been involved at this level so we're, we're expecting a tough encounter you know it's difficult it's difficult I said last week when we went to Osset the hardest thing, this, hardest thing in this league is to go away from home and win on a Tuesday night yeah. the second hardest thing is to go away from home on a Saturday and come and top teams and win but that's what we've got to do I've, I've said all along that that's what we wanted to do we wanted to be in this league and we've got to accept the challenge now and what we'll do is we'll do our own work, we'll train tomorrow night uh, as we would do normally uh, and then we'll go against Saturday. Yeah, finally, just to mention, uh, it's three years to the day that the owners took over right. Saka Threl yeah. and uh, just how much have they done to this club since the time you've been here? Unbelievable, I, I said to one or two people tonight that, you know, we stood on the side looking at the pitch, looking at the stand, looking at where the club has come in the last three years and, you know, what I've found from working alongside the owners is they're honest, they're hard working, um, they've got, you know, to, I, I often listen to their vision of where they, and, and I share that vision with them, it, you know, I think it's absolutely brilliant that they've got involved with the football club, uh, if they say they're going to do it, it's just something they normally do it, you know, and you don't have to look at stand at the other end of the pitch, you have to look at the pitch for this time of the season, you know, a lot of teams will play on decent pitches up until sort of end of August, September time, and then they start. But uh, it still looks like it did. In fact, it probably looks better now than it did at the start of top pre-season. So, you know, all their investment, all their hard work, uh, it, it, it's it's a credit to see how far the football club's come. And long may it continue, I think. And I said in the programme not so not tonight, not just them, but I think a year ago this week, Beefy came in as assistant manager, and it was probably one of the best decisions that we've ever made collectively, you know, because although I said I wanted him that decision was taken across us all and we have we have some great discussions about the football club we have 
some great discussions about the, the future, the football club, the direction, the players that we've got, the playing staff, how we should approach the season, you know, and, and their input is absolutely vital to it and it's essential as well. Um, you know, it's it ultimately I pick the team and I put the team on the pitch and I always say we feel that team is a reflection of us. But without their backing, without their belief, without them stood side by side with us, none of it would be achievable. And, you know, so, we said tonight that you look at the crowds that are coming through the gate now in comparison to where they was. So, yeah, it's long may it continue and I think their legacy um, is, is, is probably already in place and it will only get better. Yeah, that's a good way to end it. Well done tonight, Billy. See you Saturday.